As we all know, the world is run by schizophrenic, shadowy organizations who, despite conspiring with millions in perfect silence, can't resist putting clues in things like major public monuments and every note of currency ever printed. Maybe the average Batman villain looked like Professor Moriarty. At last count, the world was secretly run by the Illuminati, the Knights Templar, the Freemasons, the Trilateral Commission, the New World Order, Skull and Bone Society, the Bilderberg Group, Walt Disney, and the ever popular Jews. <laughs> it's unknown whether they all vote on various issues or they just ask Dan Brown, whose turn it is each week. What is known is that it doesn't matter who runs the world. The world is coming to an end. Just ask Nostradamus, check the History Channel. Uh, the Hopi Indians, I'll tell you. The Mayans, well, oh, there's another one. The Mayans, I'll tell you how the world's gonna end. Real good concern. So who cares about ruling the world when, um, <laughs> when there will be no more world to rule in a few what, months now? The signs are everywhere. The Earth, or God, is angry at us. Look at what, the, what God hurls at us. Tornadoes, tsunamis, earthquakes, plagues. Why? Because of our jacked up behavior. We're gobbling up all our resources, we're murdering each other, polluting the environment, then there's the overpopulation, genocide, terrorism, narcos, and the rise of the Kardashians. Yeah. Many people are discussing 2012 as the end of the world due to interpretations of predictions contained in the Mayan calendar. You guys have all heard of that, right? Yeah. The Mayan civilization was extremely advanced in math and engineering and astronomy. They also had an incredible understanding of time and space. They had many calendars to track time and linear progressions within the cycles. The great cycle, the long count calendar, equates to 5,125 years. The current great cycle is due to be completed on the winter solstice of 2012, December 21. So, it has to be interpreted that on this day, when the great cycle ends, time ends, and the earth must end as well. At least that's what everybody's saying. However, there are different opinions on what this really means. But there is a path to salvation, my brothers and sisters. Animation. Woo. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. By creating and watching cartoons, we can save the world. Amen. You know how? Why? Because no one in the history of mankind has ever committed a war crime or drunkenly slapped their life while watching or creating a cartoon. Woo. Because we're too busy laughing our asses off and having a good time to fuck with each other, okay? We're feeling good. Cartoons subdue the beast inside man and keep us civilized. We let the cartoons beat the hell out of each other with sticks and guns and swords. So welcome to Animation Saves the World. Filmmakers, we're doing our part to keep this whole fireball, this whole earth from exploding into a fireball of death. And I hope you guys enjoy the show. A lot of people work really hard on these cartoons. And uh, if you don't like them, well, scream. Yeah. Yeah. Enjoy, you guys. <laughs>